Welcome to ABC Interactive English. I am Shay, and I'm Karen. Today we are looking at part two of our story called Hans in Luck. Hmm. Okay. So so far, I thought he was pretty lucky to get like this lump of gold as big as his head. That's right. Like that to me seemed pretty lucky. Like,、uh, what's the luckiest thing that's ever happened to you? Do you think? Well, the luckiest thing that's ever happened to me, I never really win anything,、uh. and I never, you know, when you buy the scratchy, I never win the lottery. I've never won anything, but I have to say, I do feel lucky because of the family that I have right now. <laughs> What? Okay. Well, how about you? What's like the luckiest thing now that has ever、like、happened to you? Now I feel like I should say the luckiest thing that's ever happened to me is meeting my wife. And, and it's not would, true. That would be a lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. Of course, yeah, but. Like like something happening, like you mentioned, getting money or winning something.、Uh, when I just turned twenty one years of age, okay, I was allowed to gamble,、mm. like go to a casino. So I went to Las Vegas with my girlfriend and her mother. Okay, and her mother gave us like twenty dollars,、mm -hmm. U.S. dollars, which isn't so much, right? Just a little bit of money to play、um, in the called the slot machine, where you put a coin and, and you, you pull the bar,、mm -hmm. and you hope you can win money. I put in one quarter. Okay. I won five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars! Wow, you were so lucky. I felt so lucky. But did you just leave, or I just did、left. you play more? Uh, uh, I just took my money and I ran. Wow, you're very smart, and you are not greedy. Because a lot of people lose all their money because of that,、right. because they want more, right? Okay, well, let's find out more about Hans's luck in part two. All right. As the day went by, Hans traded the horse for a cow. Then he traded the cow for a pig. And finally, he traded the pig for a goose. To Hans, each one was a great deal. In the village before his home, he got an even better deal. A scissors grinder traded his old stone for grinding. So today we're looking at part two of Hans in Luck. Now we know that in part one. Hans was a servant, yeah, right? And right. he had a master. So on his last day as the servant, the master was being very nice, and he gave Hans a lump of gold.、Mm. Now we all know that the lump of gold is very, very valuable. Yes. But he met a man on a horse, and he traded the lump of gold with the man for the horse. Right. Okay, cool. Well, let's see. Now he has got, now he's got a horse. I wonder what's going to happen now because you know he's in luck. So something good must happen. That's right. All right. As the day went by, Hans traded the horse for a cow. Wait a minute. So he had the horse, and he traded the horse for a cow. Oh, a cow! Cool. You want to trade your cow for my horse? Okay. Awesome. Okay. So now he's got a cow. Okay. Then he traded the cow for a pig. He traded a cow for a pig. So now he has a pig. Okay. And finally, he traded the pig for a goose. Okay. He's been doing a lot of trading. He had a pretty busy day. This、That's、guy.、Right. <laughs> a lot of trading. So at, at the end, he traded it for a goose. Now, what is a goose? Well, it's a large bird that has a long neck and he's got webbed feet. That's right. A little bit like ducks, right? Like a duck, like a big duck with a very long neck.、Mm -hmm. And the plural of goose is geese. That's right. So you have more than one. Those are geese. 
Mm -hmm. uh, our example sentence, if you like duck, you will probably enjoy the taste of goose. Mm. Not me. <laughs> because you're a vegetarian. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> so I wouldn't like any of that. But is that true? Do they taste similar? Yes, they do. Okay. And they're very yummy, too. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry to all the vegetarians. <laughs> okay, well, let's continue with the story. So to Hans, each one was a great deal. Okay, so he liked everything that he traded for. He liked the cow and the pig and also the goose. So when you say something is a good deal, mm. the feeling is that you really kind of get something extra mm -hmm. when you make some kind of trade or something like that. Or if you go to a store and you buy something and you buy it and you feel it's a good deal, it means you probably didn't feel like you spent very much money for it. That's right? right. So he feels each time he's trading, he's getting something even better. That's right. So this goose is better than the pig, which is better than the cow, which is better than the horse, which is better than the gold. So it's quite interesting how Hans thinks, right? Yes. Okay. okay, well, let's read on. In the village before his home, he got an even better deal. Ooh, better deal. Better deal. A scissors grinder traded his old stone for grinding. Ah. Okay, so now he. Got a stone. Yes. He starts off with a big lump of gold. Mm -hmm. Now he's got just a stone. That's right. And we're looking at scissors grinder here. And that is a noun. Basically, it means is a craftsman who sharpen and repair blunt knives, scissors, and other cutting tools. If you have scissors or knives that are not very sharp, ah, and that's what they that's do. What, that's what blunt means. That's right. Okay. They will sharpen them so you can use them. So, for example, scissors grinders is a job that doesn't require much experience. Ah, oh, okay, I, I guess I can I see that. Don't think, yeah, I mean, these days, there are not a lot of scissors grinders out there in the world. This sounds like a job that was done Back quite, in the days. Quite, quite, a, quite a long time ago. That's right. Uh, so, what is a stone? So, you know, he's traded now all the way from gold to a stone. So, stone, is a piece of rock. Mm -hmm. So instead of gold, now he has a, a rock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so for example, you could say, I love collecting stones at the beach, mm -hmm. but I think you would even love finding gold on the beach more than collecting stones. But not Hans. Not Hans though. He's very happy with every single thing that he got. This is a special guy. I know. Very special guy. Why He's don't we, very happy. Why don't we take a break and find out how, how much luckier he can get. If we, right. if we call this luck, mm -hmm. let's see how lucky he gets. The grinder also threw in another stone for hammering. He said being a grinder would make Hans rich. Hans would find gold whenever he put his hand in his pocket. Welcome back, everybody. All right, let's recap, okay? Hans has some gold, trades the gold for a horse, then trades the horse for a cow, then trades the cow for a goose. A pig. No, a pig. <laughs> then the, the, trades the pig for a goose. Then trades the goose for a stone. That's right. So now Hans is left with a stone. Mm-hmm. So let's find out what happens is next. This, is this luck? Well, I don't really know, but Hans seems to be happy about everything, all the decisions he made. It feels like these are all great deals. Yes, exactly. Okay, okay. Okay, so let's continue. The grinder also threw in another stone for hammering. Okay, hammering, what does that mean? Yeah, so hammering is the, it's the action of striking something mm -hmm. with something that's like uh, harder. It could be like a, a hammer, 
a, a, a really heavy rock. Mm -hmm. And usually the idea is you knock this thing, you could try to break it or like a nail to try to hammer it into the ground. So for example, we could say the noise of hammering was coming from next door. Mm. So you hear next door. Maybe they're doing some construction work, right? Aha, uh -huh. yes. Okay, so continuing, so this uh, scissors grinder says, he said being a grinder would make Hans rich. Oh. So if he grinds stuff, right? And then you will make Hans rich. So what does rich mean? Well, rich is an adjective. When you describe someone as rich, it just means that that person has a lot of money or a lot of valuable possessions, a lot of valuable things. So for example, he's the third richest man in the country. So that means that he's very, very rich. He has lots of money. He's very, very wealthy, right? Oh, right. So wealth is another word for being rich. Mm -hmm. right? okay. okay, well, let's continue. Okay. Hans would find gold whenever he put his hand in his pockets. Oh. So this guy's a pretty good salesman, I think. Mm -hmm. He's like, hey, <laughs> you know, I've got a stone here. And I'll even give you another stone. I'm going to give you two stones. Mm -hmm. You're going to be able to grind stuff. Huh. You are going to be so rich. Anytime you put your hands in your pocket, gold, 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 gold everywhere. So Hans is either very naive mm -hmm. or he just is very positive. That's right. right. And then he said that you would find gold whenever he put his hand in his pocket. Ah. It doesn't really mean that he will find gold, but I think it's because being a grinder, you'll have really, really good business. You will be very rich being a grinder, right? Okay, because if he really found gold in his pocket, I mean, what's a pocket? A pocket is a kind of small bag which forms part of a piece of clothing. Mm -hmm. and which is used for carrying small things or even sometimes bigger things like a smartphone, but mm -hmm. you could have money. Anyway, you could see most pairs of pants have pockets in them. Mm -hmm. I've got pockets and I've got something in my pocket, a, a piece of plastic. So you could keep things like plastic in your pockets. I'd rather gold were in my pockets but mm -hmm. no. So for example, he put some coins in his pocket. That's right. Okay, okay so whenever Hans put his hands inside his pocket, he'll be very, he will find gold, but not Shane. Not me, I, I, I just find plastic <laughs> in my pockets. I guess you're not as lucky as Hans. Yeah, apparently not. Well, we don't know if he is going to, you know, become rich yet. True. He just, he feels lucky. Mm -hmm. That's the point, right? Okay, so so far, to me, the question is still there. Is, is Hans really lucky? Mm -hmm. Or does Hans just feel lucky? I'm not sure. But anyway, that, that's all we have for this part, for part two. We have one more part mm -hmm. to find out what's going to happen to Hans, see where his luck is going to take him. I can't wait. All right, we'll see you in part three. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. As the day went by, Hans traded the horse for a cow. Then he traded the cow for a pig. And finally, he traded the pig for a goose. To Hans, each one was a great deal. In the village before his home, he got an even better deal. A scissors grinder traded his old stone for grinding. The grinder also threw in another stone for hammering. He said being a grinder would make Hans rich. Hans would find gold whenever he put his hand in his pocket. Hi, I'm Tina. We're looking at Jake's key words. First, goose. Goose, goose, 名词鹅 There is a goose by the lake. 湖边有一只鹅。下一个单词 stone. Stone, 名词，石头，石块。The children collected colorful stones from the riverbank. 
，孩子们从河岸边收集了彩色的石头。River bank 指的是河岸。下一个单词 rich。Rich, 形容词，富有的。The rich man lives in a big house in the mountains. 那位富翁住在山上一间大房子里。最后一个单词 ，pocket, pocket， 名词，口袋。Hank has some coins in his pocket. Hank 的口袋里有一些硬币。接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 ，go by， 时间过去。这个片语的主词多为 morning, hour, month, year 等时间名词。我们来看看这个例句 ：The years seem to go by quickly as we grow older. 随着我们年龄增长，岁月似乎过得很快。下一个文法 ：throw in something， 额外奉送某物。这是一个可以分开的动词片语。Throw 的动词三态是 throw through thrown。我们来看看这个例句。If you buy two, they might throw in a third one for free. 如果你买两个，他们可能免费额外奉送第三个。最后一个文法 ，whenever 加上主词加动词，每当怎么样 ？Whenever 是一个从属连接词，指的是无论何时。它所引导的子句可以放在句首或者是句中。我们来看看这个例句 ：Whenever it rains, I stay indoors and read a book. 每当下雨，我就待在室内读书。Indoors 指的是室内的。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法，我们下一课再见，拜拜。Hey hey hey, it's Kiwi on the street. I'm Kiki and I'm Winnie. Oh, by the way, um, Wendy told me that she was gonna be five minutes late, so we gotta. Wendy, how can the wind tell you that they're gonna be five minutes late? Windy glasses, red hair. That's Wendy. Wendy. Okay. Be careful how you pronounce her name. Right, and that is why it's so important to pronounce words correctly. So let's go practice. Let's work on our pronunciations for today. First sentence. Look at this beautiful chair. Look at this beautiful chair. Look at this beautiful chair. Very good. Look at this beautiful chair. What about this next one? This chef is from France. This chef is from France. Very good. This chef is from France. All right. This next one. I was born in Chicago.、Mm -hmm. I was born in. I was born in Chicago. Very good. I was born in Chicago. So what have we learned today? Let's work on today's pronunciations. Today we have the letters C H. Depending on the word, it can really change the sound. Let's take a look at the sentences. The first one is, "Look at this beautiful chair." So when we look at the word chair, the C H makes a ch sound, kind of like a choo choo train. And you will notice that air is pushed out of the front two teeth. So chair. The second sentence is, "This chef is from France." We see the C H letter again, but it's a very different sound. It's not chef; it's chef, an S H sound. So to help you remember, it's kind of like going to the library, and when you're too loud, the librarian says shh. So let's work together and look at the last sentence and try and guess if it's a sh sound or a ch sound. I was born in Chicago. The C H here is an S H sound. So that's all we have for today. Kiwi later.